Hi everyone, this is Hani and today I'm going to show you how I make my farmer's cheese. Farmer's cheese is a soft cheese, uh, it's similar to ricotta, although ricotta is made from whey as opposed to farmer's cheese is made from milk, usually cow's milk. You can use it for uh, different desserts, different savory treats, uh, spreads and so on. Um, to make my uh, farmer's cheese, I usually buy my milk at a local farm that uh, doesn't use any hormones in their milk and I also use white distilled vinegar. So to make about four cups of farmer's cheese you need uh, these ingredients and then also you're gonna need few tools. Make sure you have a thermometer on hand so you can measure the temperature of milk. And this is my pot that I'll be using and I'm using uh, hormone free milk. Um, and I'm going to show you how I make my buttermilk. So for one cup buttermilk you need a half tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice and you can add it into your cup measure and then uh, fill it with uh, whole milk. You don't want to use uh, low fat or fat free milk for uh, this because it will result in a rubbery texture of your cheese. And after you're done measuring the buttermilk into a bowl you need to let it sit for about five to ten minutes, stir it and let it sit. Um, traditional buttermilk is basically a liquid that is poured off when the milk is set aside for the cream to separate prior making butter. This is when you have a cow and you can go out and uh, get your own fresh milk. Well, I don't have that so uh, I can either go to the store to get cultured buttermilk or make my own. Some people also call the buttermilk that I just showed you how to make sour milk. And here I'm just measuring uh, three quarts of whole milk into a large pot. And um, I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and then you need a thermometer that you need to attach to your pot. Uh, you want to make sure that the probe is not touching the bottom of the pot because it will set off uh, wrong readings. Uh, and then you want to stir it and heat it up on medium high setting until it reaches the correct temperature. And while that's happening, uh, measure 9 tablespoons of uh, vinegar or you can also use lemon juice. And once your milk has reached, reached the temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit, you can turn up the heat. And now I'm going to add buttermilk. You want to stir it and then add the, add the vinegar and stir it again and uh, watch the milk closely because it will start to separate it's starting to separate right now and you see the curds are forming so you want to stop stirring it now and you want to let this sit undisturbed for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can uh, take a ladle or a measuring cup and uh, place your mesh sieve over a large pot so you can drain the curds. Be careful because mixture is still hot. And it is best to let this cheese drain for at least several hours. I would say four to eight hours. So I usually make this cheese make this cheese um, in the evening, and then um, I let it cool for about thirty minutes, and then I cover it, and then I put it in a fridge to drain overnight. You may want to wait a little so it drains and then pour all the curds into the sieve. Okay, so now you just have to wait till it cools down a little bit because it's still very hot. And then um, you can cover it with a plastic wrap or I'm using a little plate. And you can put this in the fridge now to drain further. And this is whey. It's a byproduct of cheese making. I will not be using whey today. And here is my farmer's cheese that I made. Farmer's cheese doesn't melt like a regular mozzarella cheese, so it retains its shape even when baked. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I am on Facebook, so you can uh, find me there. I hope you stop by and say hello. Thanks for watching.